Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you seven powerful features on my Samsung S25 Ultra that seriously upgrades your daily smartphone experience. So whether it's watching YouTube with your screen off or customizing screenshots, these tips are easy, useful, and best of all, some work on other Galaxy devices too. So grab your phone and follow along. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your favorite feature below. So let's get started. So feature number one is where you can block ads on your YouTube using Samsung internet browser. So everyone loves watching YouTube, however, without the annoying ads. And no, you don't need YouTube premium for this. You can do this without it. So you can go ahead and open YouTube in the Samsung internet browser, and you can basically download the ad blocker. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the internet browser. And here we'll go ahead and navigate to the YouTube website we'll go ahead and start a YouTube video. However, before this, we'll go ahead and tap on the three lines, and then we'll go ahead and tap on Add Blockers. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on Add Block for Samsung Internet. Go ahead and download this. Go ahead and install this. Now once that's installed, go ahead and open it. Go ahead and tap on Next, Next, and then go ahead and tap on Open Samsung Internet. Now go ahead and turn this feature on, and then you wanna go ahead and start watching a video. So now with this, most ads on YouTube videos will disappear. However, you will see some ads, but this will basically save you time, data, and will give you a cleaner, uninterrupted YouTube experience right from your Samsung internet browser. Feature number two is where you can play YouTube with your screen locked. No more YouTube premium needed. So if you wanna play YouTube videos in the background with your screen locked, even without premium, again, just use the Samsung internet browser. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Samsung internet browser. We'll go ahead and navigate to youtube.com. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on the three lines here at the bottom right, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find useful features. And here, tap on background play and make sure this is turned on. Now, once that's turned on, go back all the way Go ahead and open a video where you wanna play it in the background on your lock screen. Here, you wanna go ahead and tap on this full screen button. And then now you wanna go ahead and tap on home. So now once you do this, you'll notice that the Samsung internet browser has come in your notification. If you tap on it, you'll see that it's still being played. The audio is still being played. However, you're not seeing any video. So this is perfect for listening to podcast, music, or long interviews without draining your battery by keeping your screen on. You can go ahead and just lock your phone. And as you can see, it is being played in the background. I'll just increase the volume. So as you can see, it's still being played in the background. So you can basically play the video, switch apps, or lock your screen, and the audio keeps playing in your background. Feature number three is where you can go to a website from a screenshot. So have you ever taken a screenshot of a web page and later forgot where it came from? So with Samsung's smart screenshot feature, you can basically tap on the screenshot and go back to the original website. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example. I'll take a screenshot of this. And now I've taken a screenshot of this Tesla Y website. Now I'll go ahead and close this website. So I'll go ahead and clear my tabs. Now, once that's done, when I go back to internet browser, you'll see that the website which I was visiting or I've taken a screenshot, I cannot go back to it. Now, let's say for example, you want to go back to that website where you've taken a screenshot. So in order to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up gallery. In gallery, you wanna go ahead and open up that screenshot you've taken. So as you can see, I've taken a screenshot of this Tesla Y website. And just down below here, you'll see go to website. So if you've forgotten where you've taken your screenshot or you want to go back to this website where you've taken a screenshot, you can go ahead and view the screenshot and then go ahead and find this button here, go to website. So if you go ahead and tap on this, this will then take you to the website where your screenshot has been taken. So this basically saves you time hunting down links or retracing your steps. It's super handy for recipes, articles, or online shopping. Feature number four is where you can hide toolbar after taking a screenshot. So here's a sleek one where you can automatically hide the screenshot toolbar after capturing a screen. 
So as you can see right now, when I take a screenshot, you'll see that toolbar here. However, let's say you want to hide that toolbar. So you don't want to keep seeing that toolbar about sharing or deleting or maybe mocking it. So in order to hide that toolbar, you can go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down and find advanced features. And now here, find screenshots and screen recording, and then find show toolbar after capturing. So you can go ahead and turn this feature on. So here, basically, you'll hide this toolbar after capturing. So here, when I take a screenshot, there's no confirmation of a screenshot has been taken as you don't see a preview and you don't see any toolbar. So this basically keeps your screen clean. It lets you take multiple screenshots faster and it's great for long reads or chats. Feature number five is where you can add or delete shortcuts on the screenshot toolbar. So if you want to customize the screenshot toolbar, so here you want to go ahead and add the delete button. Then let me show you how to do this. So here's an example. When I take a screenshot, you'll see this toolbar appear. And on this toolbar, you'll see this delete button. Now you can go ahead and choose that if you take a screenshot, if you haven't taken a proper screenshot, you can go ahead and press delete and do it again. So in order to add the delete shortcut, you can go ahead and app, open the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're finding the nice shot module. From here, you want to turn this feature on and you want to go ahead and tap on add delete button. So make sure that is turned on. So this will basically add a delete button to the toolbar so you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshots immediately. So once you do this and now you take a screenshot, you'll see your delete icon appear on that screenshot. So you can tailor the toolbar to your workflow. You can basically add the delete button so you can basically delete any incorrect screenshots you have taken on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number six is where you can stack widgets to save home screen space. So are you running out of home screen space? You can basically use stack widget feature. So just by dragging one widget over another of the same size, it'll basically automatically create a stack for you. So here's an example. We'll go ahead and add a widget. So let's just say this is a step widget which I want to add. So this is the same size as the top one. Now, if you want to stack this widget so that you can add something else here at the bottom, you can go ahead and place this on top of the other one. Now, once you do this, this will basically create a stack effect. So you can basically go ahead and stack two widgets or three widgets on top of one another and basically save space that way. So this way you have this space left to put your icons. So you can swipe through them like pages and long press to reorder or edit them. So the benefit of this is that it gives you multiple widgets in one space is perfect for weather, calendar, music and reminders all in one spot. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can turn on your touch indicator on your Samsung screen. So if you're making tutorials or sharing screens, turn on the touch indicator. So as you can see, wherever I touch on screen, you'll see a yellow circle appear. So this basically shows the viewer or whoever you're showing that you have made some touch and you have basically tapped on a certain application. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings. You want to go ahead and scroll down all the way and you need to go ahead and open up developer option. Now, if you don't have developer option, you can go ahead and open up about then software information and then go ahead and tap multiple times on your build number until you get asked to enter in your pin number. Now, once you enter in your pin number, developer mode will be enabled. Now, once that's done, you'll get this secret menu called developer option. Tap on this, make sure it's turned on. Scroll down all the way and find show taps. So it's in the input section. So this will show visual feedback for taps. Go ahead and turn this feature on, then press home. Now, wherever you tap, it'll basically show you a circle, which basically helps viewers see exactly where you're tapping. So it's perfect for screen recording or demos on your phone. So those were seven incredibly useful features on my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, some of which you will also find on other Galaxy phones. Which one was your favorite? Or do you have a tip I didn't cover? Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more Galaxy tips and tap that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and happy exploring with your Samsung.